In the annals of human ingenuity, a new chapter unfolds. A chapter where the very essence of our species is preserved in a five-dimensional memory crystal, a breakthrough that holds our genetic blueprint for billions of years. This tiny crystal emerges as a beacon of hope. It carries the building blocks of our being, awaiting future intelligences to decipher. The five-dimensional memory crystal could become a celestial arc, preserving the genetic blueprints of countless species. The possibilities are as boundless as the universe itself. The creation of the five-dimensional memory crystal is a testament to human brilliance, but its creation is only the first step in an audacious plan. The true challenge lies in ensuring its survival across the vast expanse of time and space, a task that requires ingenuity on a cosmic scale. This is where the Celestial Codex project comes into play, a daring mission to launch these crystals into the cosmos, transforming them into celestial time capsules, each carrying the potential for rebirth. These probes, specifically designed to withstand the rigors of interstellar travel, are more than just vessels. They are guardians of our legacy. Outfitted with advanced navigation systems and self-repair mechanisms, they are prepared to navigate the treacherous currents of space, avoiding cosmic hazards and outmaneuvering potential threats. Their mission? To reach carefully selected constellations, chosen for their celestial significance and the likelihood of harboring habitable planets. The journey of these probes will be fraught with peril. They will traverse through the heart of nebulae, their delicate cargo buffeted by stellar winds and bombarded by cosmic radiation. They will run the gauntlet of asteroid fields, their hulls pitted by micrometeoroids and threatened by rogue celestial bodies. Yet through it all, the crystals they carry will remain safe, shielded by the pinnacle of human engineering and driven by the relentless march of time. The stakes of the Celestial Codex project are immeasurable. It represents a gamble, a desperate hope that somewhere beyond the bounds of our solar system, another intelligence might one day stumble upon these crystallized fragments of our past. This is not a mission driven by arrogance or a desire to conquer the cosmos, but by a profound understanding of the fragility of life and the importance of preserving the rich tapestry of existence. The discovery of the Celestial Codex by another civilization would be an event of unparalleled significance. It would be a testament to the enduring power of curiosity, the inherent desire to explore the unknown that binds all sentient beings. It would spark countless questions, igniting a firestorm of scientific inquiry as this alien intelligence grapples with the secrets encoded within the crystal's depths. But perhaps most importantly, the Celestial Codex represents a message in a bottle cast upon the cosmic ocean, a testament to the fact that we were here, that we lived, that we loved, and that we dreamt. It carries with it the hope that our story, however fragmented and incomplete, might one day inspire another species to reach for the stars. To learn from our mistakes and to build a future where the light of consciousness continues to burn brightly against the cold void of space. Under the veil of secrecy, a momentous event was about to unfold. The location, a remote launch facility nestled amidst the desolate beauty of the Atacama Desert. The air crackled with anticipation as the final preparations were made for the launch of the Celestial Codex probes. With a blinding flash and a deafening roar, the first probe shot skyward. One by one, its companions followed, each launch a symphony of fire and thunder. The Celestial Codex had begun its journey. The journey of the Celestial Codex probes was a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of their creators. Each probe was a marvel of engineering, navigating the perils of interstellar space. Their first encounter was with the asteroid belt, a chaotic dance of rocky debris. The probes weaved through this cosmic minefield with balletic grace. Beyond the asteroid belt lay the gas giants, colossal worlds of swirling gas. The probes gathered valuable data on these enigmatic giants. They drifted through the interstellar void, silent sentinels carrying the weight of a species' hopes and dreams. The Celestial Codex project was more than just a scientific endeavor. It was an act of faith, a message in a bottle cast upon the cosmic ocean. The odds of any single probe being discovered were astronomically small, but the sheer number of probes launched, combined with the unimaginable timescales involved, meant that the possibility, however remote, could not be ignored. Each probe carried with it not only the raw genetic data of humanity and countless other species, but also a carefully curated selection of music, art and literature. It was hoped that these artifacts, should they ever be deciphered, would provide a glimpse into the soul of their creators, a testament to the beauty, creativity and resilience of the human spirit. The probes were also programmed with a simple message, translated into as many languages as could be conceived, both human and mathematical. We were here, we lived, we loved learn from our mistakes, build a better future. It was a message of hope, a plea for understanding and a testament to the enduring power of life in a universe that often seemed indifferent to its existence. The Celestial Codex probes scattered across the vastness of space were more than just vessels of data. They were ambassadors of a species, 
carrying with them the hopes and dreams of a civilization that, for all its flaws, had dared to dream of a future beyond the confines of its own world. Freed from the gravitational grip of their home solar system, the Celestial Codex probes embarked on a journey unlike any ever undertaken. Their path took them on a grand tour of the galaxy, a celestial ballet of wonders and cosmic forces. Each probe, a silent voyager, recorded data that would reshape our understanding of the universe. They encountered regions of star formation where gas and dust coalesced into brilliant new suns. The probes also encountered the remnants of stellar death, the ghostly echoes of stars that had long since burned out through the veil of nebulae. Probes journey through nebulae, vast clouds of gas and dust illuminated by starlight. Ethereal structures spanning light years showcase the cosmos's beauty and chaos. Probes capture breathtaking images, revealing intricate details unseen by Earth-based telescopes. In the Orion Nebula, probes navigate through a cosmic labyrinth, recording intense radiation and magnetic fields. In the Crab Nebula, probes capture the expanding shell of gas and dust from a supernova. These encounters, while invaluable, are not without risks. Nebulae are turbulent, filled with intense radiation and high-speed particles. The dance of creation and destruction. Probes witness the ongoing dance of creation and destruction shaping the galaxy. They observe new star systems forming, planets born from swirling gas and dust, and stars' cataclysmic deaths. Supernova explosions mark their demise, some collapse into white dwarfs or neutron stars. These encounters are beautiful and awe-inspiring, reminding us of the dynamic, ever-changing universe. Whispers of the Cosmos As the probes journeyed through the galaxy, they encountered more than just celestial objects and cosmic phenomena. Their sensitive instruments began to pick up faint signals, whispers of something else out there in the vastness of space. These signals, some natural, some perhaps not, hinted at the possibility of other intelligent life in the universe. One probe passing near a pulsar, a rapidly rotating neutron star, detected a series of regular pulses like the ticking of a cosmic clock. These pulses, while natural in origin, sparked speculation among some scientists back on Earth that they might be evidence of an advanced alien civilization using the pulsar as a beacon. Another probe, its trajectory taking it close to a black hole, detected strange fluctuations in the fabric of space-time, gravitational waves rippling outward from the black hole's event horizon. These waves, predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, provided further evidence of the extreme environments that exist in the universe. While none of these signals provided conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, they served as a reminder that humanity was not alone in the universe. The probe's silent listeners to the cosmos carried with them the hope that one day humanity might make contact with another intelligent species, a species that might share its curiosity, its thirst for knowledge, and its desire to explore the universe. The Orion Nebula, a swirling canvas of stardust and creation, played host to a silent drama. The celestial codex probes entered a region unlike any they had encountered before. The vibrant chaos of the nebula masked a chilling presence, a sentient darkness. The probes began to detect anomalies. Faint energy signatures flickered at the edge of their perception. Gravitational distortions hinted at massive objects moving with impossible speed. The guardians of humanity's legacy had stumbled upon something ancient and powerful. Within a colossal gas giant, a consciousness stirred. The Krell, a species as old as the nebula, existed as pure energy. They had watched the rise and fall of civilizations and the birth and death of stars. They had learned to manipulate the forces of the universe. The arrival of the Codex probes had not gone unnoticed. The Krell saw in the probes an opportunity. The first sign of the Krell's presence was subtle, a ripple in the fabric of space-time, a faint tremor felt by the probe's delicate instruments. Then, without warning, the nebula itself seemed to turn against them. Tendrils of superheated gas, guided by the Krell's will, lashed out, their touch a searing inferno. Cosmic lightning, harnessed from the depths of the gas giant, arced across the void, seeking to cripple the probe's delicate systems. The probes, programmed for survival, reacted with a speed and precision that belied their creator's youthful ambition. Shields, designed to withstand the rigors of interstellar travel, flared to life, absorbing the brunt of the Krell's attacks. Thrusters, normally used for delicate course corrections, roared with unexpected power, maneuvering the probes through the chaotic ballet of the nebula. A desperate battle unfolded, a silent dance of light and energy against a backdrop of cosmic grandeur. The probes, outnumbered and outgunned, relied on their agility and their creator's foresight. Their programming, anticipating almost every conceivable threat, allowed them to adapt, to learn, and to fight back with a ferocity born of desperation. But the Krell, masters of the nebula, were relentless. They tightened their grip, their attacks growing in intensity. One by one, the probes, their shields buckling, their systems failing, began to fall. Each loss was a blow, a diminishing hope for the legacy they carried. As the battle raged, one probe designated Codex 7, 
found itself separated from its brethren, driven deep into the heart of the nebula, damaged, its shields failing, its systems on the verge of collapse, it seemed destined to join its fallen comrades. But within its core, its programming held firm, its primary directive echoing through its circuits, preserve the Codex. Analyzing the situation, Codex 7's AI calculated a desperate gambit. It would use the Krell's own power against them, drawing upon the immense energy of the nebula to fuel a final, desperate act of defiance. It would become a beacon, a supernova of information broadcasting the entirety of the Codex across the galaxy before the Krell could silence it forever. The probe plunged deeper into the nebula, its hull glowing white hot as it absorbed the surrounding energy. Its internal systems, strained beyond their limits, began to overload, but still transmitted its signal a piercing cry cutting through the cosmic static. The Krell, sensing the probe's intentions, reacted with fury. They converged upon Codex 7, their energy tendrils lashing out, seeking to crush the defiant machine, but it was too late. In a blinding flash of light and energy, Codex 7 detonated. The explosion, fueled by the heart of the nebula, rippled across space, carrying with it the digitized essence of humanity and countless other species. The Krell, caught in the blast, were scattered, their ancient consciousness disrupted, their plans thwarted. Across the galaxy, the signal spread, a beacon of hope and defiance. It reached the listening posts of unknown civilizations, the sensors of curious minds, the dreams of those who dared to look up at the stars and wonder. The legacy of humanity, once confined to a single planet, was now woven into the fabric of the cosmos, a testament to the enduring power of hope, resilience, and the unyielding drive to survive. The Krell, though scattered, were not destroyed. Their ancient consciousness, fragmented yet persistent, would reform, their hunger for knowledge and power undiminished. The battle for the Codex had been won, but the war for the future of the galaxy had just begun. And somewhere amongst the stars, the seeds of humanity's legacy carried on the winds of a supernova, waited to take root. Millennia drifted by like cosmic dust, the echoes of Codex 7's sacrifice fading into the cosmic background radiation. The Orion Nebula, still bearing the scars of the Krell's wrath, swirled with a deceptive tranquility. Unseen, unheard, a fragment of Codex 7's final broadcast tumbled through the void. On the far side of the galaxy orbited the planet Xylos. Its surface shimmered under the light of its two suns. Home of the Ziliani, a race of avian humanoids known for their serene wisdom. Deep within their most revered temple hummed the chorus engine. But on this day a discordant note caught the engine's attention. The signal, faint and fragmented, defied easy translation. It was a tapestry of mathematics, of scientific notation woven together with abstract concepts, alien to even the Ziliani's vast understanding. Yet there was something about the signal, a sense of urgency, a plea for understanding that resonated deep within their ancient souls. Generations of scholars dedicated themselves to deciphering the signal, their efforts spanning decades. They cross-referenced the signal's structure with their vast libraries of astronomical data, seeking any known celestial phenomenon that might hold the key to its meaning. They developed new algorithms, pushing the boundaries of their understanding of mathematics and physics, hoping to crack the code of the unknown language. Finally, a breakthrough. A young Ziliani scholar, driven by an insatiable curiosity, made a startling discovery. Buried deep within the signal's complex structure, she found a pattern, a repeating sequence that mirrored the fundamental building blocks of life itself. It was a genetic code, a blueprint for a species unlike any they had ever encountered. The implications of this discovery reverberated through Ziliani society. For the first time in their long history, they had encountered undeniable proof of intelligent life beyond their world. The signal, no longer a mere curiosity, became a sacred relic, a testament to the existence of another sentient species, now long gone. The discovery of the Codex Fragment ignited a firestorm of debate amongst the Ziliani. Some argued for caution, fearing the unknown consequences. They believed the fragment should be preserved and studied. Others felt a moral obligation to honor the legacy within the fragment. Finally, a consensus emerged. They would attempt to rebuild, to breathe life back into the lost species. Rebuilding a species from a fragmented blueprint was a task of unimaginable complexity. The Ziliani, masters of bioengineering, approached the task with cautious optimism and profound humility. They aimed to rekindle the spark of consciousness, to breathe life into a legacy silent for millennia. Their first challenge was reconstructing the fragmented genetic code. The Ziliani meticulously pieced together the DNA strands cross-referencing their work. It was a painstaking process akin to reassembling a shattered mosaic. With the genetic blueprint restored, they created a suitable environment. They constructed a biosphere to mimic Earth's conditions. Within the biosphere, the first human embryo stirred to life.
Section 2, A New Eden. The Ziliani recreated Earth within their biosphere, nurturing humans not as mere copies but as a fusion of two civilizations. They taught them language, history, and peaceful coexistence. Humans thrived, embracing the Ziliani way of life. Their societies evolved with peace, sustainability, and respect for all living things. They developed unique cultures, blending traditions with new wisdom, creating a rich tapestry of art, music, and literature. The Ziliani became their guides, mentors, and elders, embracing diplomacy and understanding over violence. The legacy awakens. The humans, raised in the cradle of Ziliani wisdom, were not destined to remain confined. The Ziliani envisioned a day when humans would step out onto the galactic stage. As humans approached galactic maturity, the Ziliani shared their origins and the Codex Fragment's legacy. The humans listened with awe and trepidation, curious and ambitious, stirred by tales of exploration. The time had come for humans to choose their destiny, remain in peaceful isolation or venture into the galaxy. The Ziliani watched, ready to offer guidance, but prepared to let humans forge their own path. Section 1, The Unfolding Tapestry. The story of the Celestial Codex is not merely a tale of survival, but a testament to the enduring power of life, legacy, and the boundless potential that lies dormant within the human spirit. From the ashes of the dying world, a spark of hope was launched into the cosmos, a message in a bottle carried on the tides of time and chance. The humans, reborn on a distant world, shaped by the wisdom of an alien race, stood as a testament to the resilience of their species, their very existence a defiance of oblivion. Their journey, however, was far from over. The galaxy, vast and teeming with wonders both beautiful and terrifying, awaited their arrival. The echoes of their past, the sacrifices made to ensure their survival resonated within their hearts, a constant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of their newfound purpose. The Ziliani, their role as guardians nearing its end, watched with a mixture of pride and trepidation as the humans prepared to embark on their own journeys of exploration and discovery. They had imparted their wisdom, their knowledge, their dreams of the galaxy united in peace and understanding. Now, it was up to the humans to write to the next chapter in their shared story, to weave their own threads into the grand tapestry of existence. Section 2, A Legacy Written in Starlight. The Celestial Codex, once a desperate gamble, had blossomed into something far greater. It had become a bridge across time and space, connecting two civilizations. The humans, armed with knowledge, carried the potential to shape the galaxy, to build a future where the light of consciousness continued to burn brightly. Their journey would be fraught with challenges, with encounters with the unknown and the possibility of conflict and loss. But they would face these trials with courage and compassion. The legacy of the Celestial Codex extended far beyond survival. It was a testament to hope and the enduring strength of the human spirit. The future, though uncertain, was theirs to shape. The stars, once distant, now beckoned, each a potential destination. 